check, 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 check. Seven pound weight right there. Hi, this is Rick. I'm the chief cameraman and the chief editor of DRJ Studio LLC. And today I'm just doing uh, the second phase of some sound tests. The first one was with a larger um, shotgun mic and this one here is with a smaller one. So, we're going to see which one sounds better, which one seems preferred. This one here, I can actually fit into the pack and everything self-contained except for the slider and the boom, of course, and the tripod. But, you know, three things that carry and everything else, I can, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, um, introduction aside. Okay, here's the boom and tripod. The reason why I bought that it's because it's so hard to find help anymore. I doubted if I could actually find reliable help that it show up to actually hold a boom hole. You might say I outsource, outsource, outsource. So, shame on me. I can't find any reliable help. Have to pay them like uh, 12 bucks an hour to hold, stand there and hold this thing above their heads, you know, above their shoulders. And that's really bad on your shoulders, you know, and your back and everything else. But as it is, a if we had someone doing sound, they would be mining the tripod, raising things up, making adjustments as needed. That's a tree frog. That same water drain coming. <coughs> um, That's what I like about these shotgun mics, they can get the natural sound around you. It's really cool. Alright, gonna get off the headphones here. Can I still be seen? Alright, over here is the microphone. Hello, microphone. We'll just call you Mike. This is the uh, extension cord that we're using for the mic all the way down over to the mic to the camcorder. And um, now we're going to raise this up to see what the sound is. Okay, so I'm staying right underneath right now. About hat height and a little bit taller than me and so uh i'll be able to get the shot in there you know um demonstrate as i tighten up on this on this frame you'll see what i'm talking about you you won't even see this boom or anything instead of the microphone being 10 feet away it's about a foot away from where i am and this is test one of the this type of microphone. All right, we're going to go to test two. We're going to raise it up higher. Okay, quite a bit higher now, as you can see. And so because of the amount of um, because of the microphone in here, I've got it slightly cockeyed. So I'm going to fix that. Okay, so it's fixed, and I'm about, uh, eight, I'd say 18 inches to 22 inches tall off of my head with the microphone. And uh, um, let's say you were sitting down, but you wanted to have the microphone high enough to where it wouldn't hit you in the head when you stood up. So we're gonna do adjustment for that. And this is uh, two. Okay, so this is just barely above my head. And 
and realistically the camera gets cut off right about here whereas if a photo gets cut off way up here video gets cut off right at the edge of your head don't know why that's just some of the rules that's some of the rules I forgot where I was going with this lost my train of thought it derailed uh, that's many strokes for you um, anyway uh, um, um, you know on the timeline when I'm editing it, it's not like that because um, I can see exactly where I am and where I wanted to go and everything else and but in real life yeah I just say cut or cheesecake and we'd move on from there um, I believe I was talking about uh, oh sitting down and then standing up okay this would be the position of standing up we're gonna see what it sounds like sitting down okay why is that important uh, we recently filmed Nick West and let's say we were filming Nick West and using this boom microphone boom and so we were recording him sitting down and then he stood up we don't want him hitting his head on the microphone so it's got to be just a few inches above his head and so it looks great and there's no microphone in his face or nothing in his way and we get a full body nice picture so musician or or we're having an interview or whatever um, this is going on and uh, <coughs> microphone now is about three foot of have it over my head that weird sound you hear is a crow making a weird sound anyway now I'm standing up the singer or the interviewee is standing up and that's the difference in the sound okay side to side now the other microphone you could move very far away from it maybe about three feet and that's about it well it is just like having a microphone right in front of my face I can just talk normally. That's pretty weird. Well, oh yeah, that's much better. I mean, I'm getting belt on up to my head. Uh, I could probably, uh, you know, that's all the way widened out, so I could back it up. Oh, well, I'll do that real quick. But I won't be able to use my headphones in. But thing is holy crap dude that works out pretty well damn well that's the microphone up there just above my head <coughs> that's pretty cool so here we are microphone above the head that's shotgun mic too yeah larger one um, We're gonna try the other one, but I think this one here should do just fine. No way. Yep. Hey, right. Gomer. Yeah. Well, man, I'm wondering. Wondering what, man? Can I step out of the range of the microphone or not? Range. If you're, you're. If you're away from it, what sound different than you? if you're staying right directly into it? Aha! It does sound differently. So, that's the problem. Okay, let's give the other one a try. This one is the larger, uh, it, it's the brand new um, shotgun mic that I've never tried before. It's in a box, been in a box for like a year, and it's just like the other long tube one. Okay, let's try the other one real quick. So you could have a couple of people talking, but they have to be pretty close. Now we're going to move. We're dead on center. 
more or less. And I'm going to move to my left about a foot. And how does it sound now? Now to my left, another foot. And how does it sound now compared to what it was? And one more step to the left, a foot. How does it sound now? Let's say I'm speaking to someone facing the microphone. Okay, going back to dead center. Move the chair out of the way. Dead center with the mic. Now we'll go into my right, a foot. Reasonably, somewhat a foot. And again, going to my right, about a foot. So it's about two feet away from the mic. Slight wind, I believe the wind speed today was supposed to be 10 or 12 miles an hour. And one more foot. Here we go. Standing to your right, two feet away. I suppose I was facing another person and talking to them. That would be facing the microphone. And about two and a half, three feet away. And so it would still be above our heads. And with this, we'll be able to figure out where the boom is and everything else. Whether I'm standing above where I should be or not, because it's a slight incline. So if this is all experimentation, all learning. And then about three feet in front of the mic. Say you're, uh, you got a group of people arguing like uh, a time travel series or a movie or something like that. So you got one person there, one person there, one person in front of it. And you can even have a few more. But that's an advantage of that microphone over the top of them because you wouldn't have to talk very loud at all. And the ones farther away from the mic would have to talk a little louder. Okay, that uh, pretty much concludes the experiment. DRJ Studio, LLC, near Richmond, Missouri.